Hello, girls and boys. It's Miss Kim from Miss Kim's Children's Music. Today's vlog will be all about turtles. Turtles are reptiles and they're very interesting, beautiful creatures. We're going to learn a lot about them today. Are you ready? Stick around. Boys and girls, there are three categories of turtles we are going to talk about. The first category is turtles, which are also known as terrapins. The second category we're going to talk about is tortoises. And the third category is sea turtles. There are about 356 species of turtles around the world that we know of. The only place in our world that you will not find turtles is Antarctica. Antarctica is cold and reptiles, they like warm weather. Our first category of turtles are the turtle or terrapin category. Terrapins spend most of their time in water. So turtles or terrapins are omnivorous, which means they like to eat meat or plants. Their diet mainly consists of mollusks, small fish, crustaceans, insects, algae, and other aquatic plants. They have webbed feet so they can swim. Check out their cool feet. They can live about 80 to 100 years of age. That's pretty long time. The predators that like to try to eat turtles are birds, raccoons, opossums, weasels, skunks, and ferrets. They have a really hard shell that helps to protect them, but they still can get eaten by any of these predators. The most common turtles or terrapins are the painted turtle. Look how beautiful. The common snapping turtle. The alligator snapping turtle. The musk turtle. The pond slider. How about the spotted turtle? Then there's the wood turtle. The bog turtle. The Chinese pond turtle, the African helmeted turtle, and the northern red-bellied turtle. To name a few, I'm sure there are more out there, but aren't these beautiful creatures? The next category of turtles are the tortoises. They spend their time on land and love hot, dry environments. Tortoises are vegetarians, and they love to eat low-lying shrubs, cacti, grasses, weeds, fruit, and other forms of vegetation. They have very cool feet that look like elephant feet, so they can walk on land. Take a look at their feet. Their main predator mainly preys on the eggs of the tortoises as well as tortoises are coyotes, kit foxes, badgers, skunks, ground squirrels, ravens, gila monsters, and road runners. They prey on the smaller tortoises, as well as those eggs that have not been hatched yet. The lifespan of a tortoise is mainly from 80 to 150 years of age. But the Galapagos tortoise has been known to live more than 150 years. The longest living tortoise that we know of so far was an Al Aldabra giant tortoise who lived up to 255 years of age. Her name was Adueta. There are so many tortoises out there, but the most common tortoises are the Russian tortoise, the African spurred tortoise, the Greek tortoise, Indian star tortoise, leopard tortoise, 
Herman's tortoise, marginated tortoise, and an Egyptian tortoise. Again, there are so many more. We've already learned about the Galapagos tortoise. We're gonna move on to the next species of turtles. Sea turtles, that's what I'm wearing on my shirt. They mainly live in the ocean, except when they lay eggs. They have flippers that help them to swim. Makes it hard for them to walk on land, but they wiggle their way so they can hatch their eggs. They can live up to 30 to 50 years, which isn't as long as the other turtles and tortoises. They have a, also an omnivorous diet. They like to eat jellyfish, small invertebrates, sea sponges, or sea vegetation, such as seaweed or aquatic algae. There are common predators, especially for the sea turtles hatchlings. Some of them are crabs, raccoons, boars, birds, coyotes, and sharks. There are many sea turtles in our world, but the most common sea turtles in the ocean are the green sea turtle, the leatherback turtle, the loggerhead. Then there's Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, the olive Ridley sea turtle, Coretta, the flatback sea turtle. Again, there are probably many more species of sea turtles, but these are the most common. You can find sea turtles in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean. They're not in the Arctic Ocean because it's too cold. Let me tell you the fun facts about turtles. They have a hard shell. The top of the hard shell is called the carapace. The underneath part where their belly, I guess you can call it a belly, is called the plastron. Take a look. The hard shell, carapace. The bottom, plastron. Did you know that Charles Darwin and Steve Irwin cared for the same tortoise? They took care of a Galapagos tortoise gal named Harriet. Cause they live up to 150 years. Do you know that turtles smell with their throats? I smell with my nose. The largest turtle in the world is the leatherback and can be found in the Atlantic Pacific and Indian oceans. The smallest turtle is the speckled padloper from South Africa. You could put it on your finger. The most endangered turtle in our world is the Yangtze giant softshell turtle. I'd like to talk a little bit about turtles as pets. Some states in the United States do not allow you to own a turtle such as North Carolina and South Dakota, because they harbor this bacteria, Salmonella, that can make humans sick. Iceland also bans pet turtles, but most places allow pet turtles. What are the best turtles to have as pets, you ask? Well, the red-eared slider, they're the friendliest. The African side neck is a good pet. Eastern box turtle is a good pet. The Western Painted Turtle, Mississippi Map, the Common Musk, Spotted Turtle, and the Yellow Bellied Turtle. These all make good pets. Now an Egyptian tortoise can make a good pet because it is really small. Look how cute that is. Also, Marginated Pancake and Leopard, and the Red Footed and Indian Star. Keep in mind, Having a turtle is not just something you go out and get. You really need to understand how to take care of turtles. So make sure that you learn everything you can. As you know, Ms. Kim always promotes your local library to learn more about the numerous amounts of turtles in our world and maybe having one for a pet. I had a wonderful time with you all today, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining me for All About Turtles. Please take a minute and subscribe to my channel.